Okay, good morning, my dear students. Our lesson today it's about power graph. Power graph. What's the power graph? Power graph. It's two lines that shows some data on these lines by drawing or some pictures together. Okay, in the power graphs we have two lines. One of them is the vertical line. It goes from down to up, and all the time the vertical line has the numbers of the uh, quantities that we are drawing okay and the vertical line it goes on the line of the paper it goes down and the vertical the horizontal line it goes down and on the horizontal line we are going to write the data that we are going to collect or the names of the data that we are going to collect so and uh, so we said vertical line and horizontal line what we are going to do on the horizontal line and on the vertical line? On the horizontal line, we have some rows. We have rows and the rows goes side by side. All the rows here on the horizontal line goes side by side. They are laying beside each other. On the vertical line, we have columns. We have columns and the columns goes up and down, up and down on the vertical line. Okay, we are going to use the bar graph to collect some data and show it by drawing. Show the data by drawing. How we deal do this? Okay, here we have, uh, we are going to look at the bar graph and then we are going to answer these questions together. We have orange, apple, banana, strawberry, and cherry. We are going to see how many like orange, how many like apples, how many like banana, strawberry, and cherry. Okay, here we go. We have how many of the students like orange? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And for apples, we have one, two, three, four. So in orange, we have five students. For apples, we have four students. For banana, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and with the strawberry, we have one, two. So we have two students who like strawberry. And with the cherry, one, two, three, four, five. We have five students that they love cherry. Let's answer this question together after we figure out the drawing together. What is your favorite fruit? Which one of the fruits that all the students like? Let's count. Orange are five, apples are four, banana are 10, uh, strawberry, two, cherry is five. So which one has the greatest number? Excellent. This is banana. Great. What is your friend's favorite fruit? What's my friend? What she, what she wants to, to, to like? She likes orange. My friend, she likes orange. She has five. How many students prefer eating orange? Let's count all the numbers for orange. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So I'm going to write five. Which fruit has the least number of students? Which one has the least number? Excellent. Apples, uh, sorry, strawberry has two students. That's why it's the least number. Let's go to the next one. Which fruit has the most number of students? Which one has the biggest number? Let's figure out orange, apple, banana. Oh, excellent, banana. Are there any fruits have the same number of students? Let's figure out orange or five. Apples are uh, four, banana is 10, strawberry is two, and cherry is five. Excellent. Yes, we have orange and cherry. They have the same number. Let's go to the next one. We are going to represent the data with a different way. He's going to give me the numbers on some table, and we are going to represent all this number on the bar graph that we have. So this is an empty bar graph. We have the numbers here. This is the temperature for each country in Egypt. We have in Cairo 17, Alexandria 9, Asyut 15, Banha 17, Luxor is 23. So I have all the temperature for each country. I'm going to draw it on the bar graph. I'm going to color it. Then I'm going to represent it. This is how I, pre I represent it on the bar graph. Okay, here we go. We said Cairo 17. So I'm going to draw or color all the uh, squares together or the rectangle together until I reach to number 17. So one, two, three, four, and so on until I reach to 17. And Alexandria, nine. So I'm going to color up to nine. Then I suit 15. So I'm going to color up to 15. 
and the, se the same with Banha, 17. So I'm going to color all the, the a rectangle until I reach to number 15. Then the last one, Luxor, is 23. So I'm going to count until I reach to number 23. <clears throat> so this is how I represent all the data that I have. I'm jo just going to fill in the columns from down to up until I reach the number that I will show. Okay, so after we represent all the numbers on the bar graph, we are going to answer some questions together. So we are going to see the first question. What is the least temperature? Which country has the least temperature? Let's figure out Cairo, Alexandria, Isyud, Ben Halux. Yes, excellent. This is Alexandria. Alexandria has nine. So it has the least temperature. What is the highest temperature? Which country from these countries has the, the, lead, the highest temperature? Cairo, Alexandria, Sud, Banha, Luxor. Yes, of course. Luxor has 23. So this is the greatest or the highest temperature from all among the countries. Let's go to the next one. Are there are any countries or cities have the same temperature? Let's figure out. We have Cairo 17, Alexandria is 9. Isyut is 15, uh, Banha is 17, and Luxor is 23. Do we have anything in common? Yes, of course. We have Cairo and Banha. They have the same, they have 17, the same temperature like each other. Let's go to compare. Remember, we compare very easy with using our signs. Let's compare between Cairo and Alexandria. We remember Cairo is 17. What about Alexandria? Alexandria is 9. So which one is greater, Alexandria or Cairo? Cairo is greater than Alexandria. Let's go to the next one. Asyut and Banha. Asyut, how many in Asyut? We have uh, 15. And for Banha, we have 17. So which one is greater? Banha is greater, so Asyut is less than Banha in the temperature. Let's go to the next one, Luxor and Alexandria. Alexandria, the temperature here was 9, and for Luxor, it was the greatest one, 23. So which one is greater? Of course, it's going to be Luxor. Let's go to the next one, Cairo and Banha. Which one has the greatest temperature, or like how I compare? Cairo has 17, for about Banha, Banha has 17. So which one is greater? No one, they are equal. Cairo 17 and Banha is 17. Let's go to the next one, Alexandria and Banha. Alexandria, we said she has nine, the temperature was nine, and Banha, the temperature was 17. So which one is greater? Excellent, Alexandria is less than Banha. Okay, let's go to the next slide. There's some kind, different kind of bar, bar graph. This is pictograph. What's the meaning of pictograph? In some bar graphs, we are not going to just write numbers and show the data by numbers. We are going to do it by drawing, some funny uh, drawing. You will like it so much. In the pictograph, we are going to have some key to read this pictograph. Without key, you cannot read all this drawing. So here my key is each a tomato stand for five each one each one tomato it's drawing or picture stand for five tomatoes stand for five tomatoes so for day one we are going to count how many picked tomato that we picked one so instead of writing of counting by one we are counting by five so five 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 so the first day will be 30 and day two let's count remember counting by five 5, 10, 15, and 20. Excellent. So day two, we have 20 tomato. For the day three, how many tomatoes that we picked? Remember, counting by five. 5, 10, 15, and 20. Excellent. Day, day three, 20. Let's go to the day four. 5, 10, 15. Excellent. So for day four, we have 15 tomatoes. Let's go to answer some questions about our data that we collect by the pictograph. <clears throat> How many tomatoes were picked in day three? Remember day two, day one, day two, day three. Day three, we said five, 10, 20, 15, 20. So the first, the first answer is going to be 20. That we, How many tomatoes that we collect for day three were 20. Okay, next question. How many tomatoes were picked on day four? Day four, this is day four, five, 10, and 15. Excellent, so for day four, we have 15. Let's go to the next one. Did any two days have the same numbers of tomato? Let's count. 
5, 10, 20, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So this is 30. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. Day 2, 20. Day 3, 5, 15, 10, 15, 20. So yes, I have day 2 and day 3. They look like the same. 20 and 20. Which day has the least number of tomatoes? Let's see. Let's choose. Oh, it's very easy. Day 4. Actually, day 4 is the first, the, sorry, the least number of tomatoes. Let's go to the next one. Which day has the most number of tomato? Excellent, day one, because day one has 30. How many tomato, more tomatoes were picked on one day than day three? When we say the word more, it means I'm going to subtract. So day one, how many? 30. And day two, how many? 20. So 30 minus 20 equal 10. Excellent. Let's go to the next one. This is a different kind of pictograph. It's a different example. We have some drawing. We are going to figure out which of the numbers uh, is to read the pictograph. But first we have to, to read the key. Remember, you have to read the key. So the key here that each one donut or each one drawing of donuts stand for two donuts, stand for two donuts. So let's count. For the sprinkles, we have how many? We said we are going to count by two. So my key is counting by two. So two, four, <clears throat> six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So day one is going to be 16. Excellent. Then the next one, custard, the next flavor. Let's count. We said, we said remember, we count by two. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So how many we have for custard? 20 donuts. Let's go to the next one. The original uh, flavor of the donuts. Let's count 2, 4, 6, uh, 8, 10, uh, 12, 14, 15. Because this is half of the donut. It means I'm going to count just one donut because it's not complete. Let's go to the next um, the next flavor with the chocolate. I like it so much. How many, uh, how many uh, donuts with chocolate? Let's count. Two, four, six, eight. Remember, don't forget the key. So they are going to be eight. What about, what about the frosting? Let's count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So be, because 17, because we have just half of the donut. Remember, each one donut stands for two. Then we are going to like the, uh, to count the jelly. Two, four, six, eight, and 10. So I just moved all the data that I have here in a very small, uh, a small table to figure it out and make it easy to answer the same questions, the questions later. Okay, now we have just a brief lesson about the um, uh, bar graphs. We are going to answer some more questions on your uh, booklet and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.